We want to conduct a triangular arbitrage strategy given these three currencies. We are told that we want to start with a million dollars. So let's find out how much it would cost to buy one currency with dollars directly versus, versus the third currency. So we'll just pick euros. We could have picked pounds, but it doesn't matter. Let's just start with euros. And we want to compare the direct exchange rate of dollars to euros to the cross rate of exchanging dollars for pounds and then convert the pounds to euros. So I'm going to flip the exchange rate so that the pounds will cancel out here and I'll have euros on the bottom. If there's no arbitrage opportunity, the left hand side will equal the right hand side. If there is an arbitrage opportunity, then one side will be greater than or less than the other side. Let's put the right hand side into the calculator and we find that it gives us 1.18103 dollars per euro and so we see that the left hand side is greater than the right hand side. We want to use the old principle of buy low, sell high. So we ask ourselves, would we rather buy euros at $1.19 or would we rather buy euros at $1.18? Well, of course, we'd rather buy euros at $1.18. So let's buy euros with our million dollars through the pound first. So we will sell dollars for pounds, $1 million times the exchange rate for pounds. So I'm going to flip the exchange rate so that the dollars will cancel out and I'll have pounds in the end. And that will give me 729,927.01 pounds. Next, now that we have pounds in our hands, we're going to exchange it for the next currency. And we see that the next currency we can exchange it for is euros. So now convert to euros using the exchange rate of pounds for euros, making sure again that euros is in the numerator and pounds are in the denominator because we need the pounds to cancel out, giving out 146,715.33 euros. Now the last step is to use the last exchange rate, which is the euros to dollars, and then we'll be done because we'll be back with the currency we started with. So we'll now we'll sell the euros for dollars. We will put the dollars in the numerator and euros in the denominator so that the euros will cancel out. We'll have dollars in the end. After putting that into our calculator, we see that we will have 1,007,000 $591, which means that we have made an arbitrage profit of $7,000 and $7,591.